Now before we deep dive into web scraping part, I want to explain to you the role of string manipulation functions in extraction of data that you have already fetched from some source. So let us see some examples now. So first of all, I declare a variable of type string. So dem a as string and then I assign a value for example a equals my name Kamal Gither. Now if we need to find the length of this string so we can say length of a and we can display in message box. So whatever is the length of that string we'll get here in the message box. Now let's say I want to extract some of the characters from left of this string. So for that I can use left function and I'll pass two arguments first to the main string and then the number of characters that I want to extract. So for example if I need first name I'll put 5 here for this particular string and I'll get the first name. Similarly if you want to extract something from right of a string you can use write function. Again that takes two arguments. One is the string and the second one is number of characters that you want to extract from the right of it. Similarly we can also extract something from the middle of the string. Now it takes three arguments. First is the string. Second one is the starting point from where you want to start the extraction and then the number of characters you want to extract from that starting point. So I've used three as a starting point therefore it will be starting from third character and then it will be extracting next five characters starting from third character. Now let's say we want to split these first and last names. So for that I can use the split function and I can split the string on the basis of a delimiter. So here in this case I have passed a as the string and space as the delimiter. Now if I display in message box the element at index 1. So for that what I can do is I can print b and in round brackets I can give the index number like 1. So if I run this I will get the second element because the index starts from 0. So if I do b0 I will get the first name. So ultimately b is nothing but an array and we can access the elements of this array using the index number. So if I put a watch window here you will get to see the complete picture of b. I expand it here so you will see that b has two elements. First is first name, second one is last name. Now let us say that you change the string and add some more words to that string. So let's say the string is Kamal Gizdar is teaching about web scraping. Now you can see that it has more words and when you split it down on the basis of a space, you should get more elements in that array. And you can see that all the words of that string are split down on the basis of space character. Now you can also use join function to again join this string on the basis of a delimiter. So in case you want to change the delimiter for example from space to something else that can be done by first using split function and then join using the new delimiter. Now this was an example where I have used one string and I have hard coded that string in the variable. Now let's say we have multiple string values in different cells of Excel. So we need to iterate through each string one by one and let's say we want to extract first character from all these strings. So I can use a for loop for i equals 1 to 10 and then inside that what I can do is cells i comma 3 let's say I want to write that new value in the third column so i comma 3 dot value equals so I'll be using this i comma 1 value and I'll be putting this in the left function so left of this value and then number of characters that I want to extract. Now you can see in the results in the third column that for all the strings from a1 till a10 we have three characters for each string in column C and if I change it to one I'll get one character for all those cells. Now let us say along with this I want to put a condition also that for first three rows it should extract only first character and then we should extract three or four characters. So you can put a if condition inside the for loop that if i is less than four or less than equal to three then inside that we can say that we want to extract one character and we can put a else block that if it is not true in that case I want some more characters. So for example I have changed it from 1 to 4 and if I run it you will see that for first three rows you have one characters and for others you have four characters. Now let us discuss a more practical example. So this data is for a cricket commentary and you see that for each ball you will get to see some commentary written in front of it. Now you want to extract some meaningful information from this text. So for sake of simplicity what I am doing is I am copying couple of rows instead of the entire data set but you can do it for entire data set as well and I paste it in the excel. 
now if i copy it from here for example like this and i paste in excel it comes in this shape now i need to reformat this data so that i can extract some meaningful information out of it so i see a pattern here that we have the over number and then we have a blank row and then we have the commentary then we again have a blank row then we have the next over number and this continues till end we have the same pattern for the entire data set so what we need to do is we need to start from first row we need to pick the over number and then after leaving one blank row we need to pick the commentary we need to put it in the column next to it in the same row and then we need to pick for the next over and we need to apply this for the entire data set so let us see how we are going to write this code so i'll put a do until loop and i put a condition that until the value of that cells become blank i want to continue the arrangement of the data so do until cells i comma one dot value is not equal blank and it ends with loop statement now what exactly i need to do inside i need to pick the over number and i need to pick the commentary and then i need to move to the next over number so since the navigation starts from row number one i initialize i as one so cells row number comma five dot value five i am using because i want to write the data in fifth column you can write it in some other sheet as well and you can use the references of first or second columns as well it is all up to you and lr is nothing but the row number and i am initializing it as one on top so first row of fifth column so what i need to write here is the over number that will come from cells i comma one dot value and similarly i need the commentary message for that particular row so i will be writing in the same row so cells lr comma in the next column which is sixth column dot value equals so now i need to see where this data actually is i am currently on i throw and i throw is having the over number and i know that i plus one is blank and i plus two is having the commentary message for that particular over so i need to use here cells i plus two comma one dot value this would be having the commentary message now once we have it we would need to move to the next row which is having the over number and since the value of i was one initially the next over comes here in the fifth row and then in the ninth row what i need to do is i need to put the step size as i plus 4 so initially it is 1 then it will automatically become 1 plus 4 which is 5 and if i run this code you would see that we have all the data set in this format we can copy this data set and paste it in a new worksheet now this way you can extend this logic to extract the batsman name to extract the scores and to extract other messages I'm not going into more details of this because I have covered a lot of pieces about this and I leave it on to you that how you are going to use your logic to extract such information and we'll be using these kind of statements and these kind of logic in web extraction as well. So I'll see you in the next section where we are going to talk about web automation using Excel VBA.